Chair, dear Vice President, dear High Representative, um, dear colleagues, some people would rather see ransomware as a mere technical or criminal problem instead of the Russian state deliberately enabling criminals to weaken Europe. Some would see former Prime Minister Gerhard Schröder working for Gazprom as a private matter rather than a broader problem with many top politicians working for authoritarian regimes, which is called elite capture. Some see Russian troll farms as an old phenomenon, merely finding its way into the digital age. Instead of clear attempts to sow distrust, weaken and divide Europe on an unprecedented scale, some see intellectual property theft and espionage by China as the second oldest profession in the world, what's new, instead of the slow drainage of our economic competitiveness. And some see payments from authoritarian states to political parties as a mere financial transaction instead of direct foreign interference in our political processes. Now, too often, too often we have looked the other way from incidents, while in fact they are part of a collective, orchestrated, broad way of foreign interference in our democratic processes. Today, Parliament is not just voting on stopping to turn a blind eye to these phenomena. We are also calling for many ways to counter these orchestrated attempts to undermine Europe. Our freedom and democracies are at stake, like both commissioners have told. So we need a structural and orchestrated response by the Council, the Commission, but also this Parliament. What started as a temporary commission is now going to be a structural a European effort. This is the reason why I got into politics. This is the reason why I'm here in Strasbourg and Brussels. And I'm very glad that this is merely the beginning of a structural, co-orchestrated European response to counter such threats. Thank you.